We're in front of the 25th District Court in Lincoln Park because this court has jurisdiction over cases in River Rouge. And here is where the woman believed to have owned Tyson is being prosecuted. There's no meat on his bones whatsoever. It was the heartbreaking sight that many people will never forget. An emaciated mastiff named Tyson found in River Rouge, barely able to walk and clinging to life when an animal rescue providing for paws stepped in to get him the emergency care he needed to survive. It was heartbreaking. It was heartbreaking. He was so cold. His body temperature was only 82 degrees. And this is Tyson now. He's being fostered by Stephanie Bullard, living with her family on his long road of recovery. And now 39-year-old Nathaya Washington, who River Rouge police say left him to starve, is charged with one count of animal cruelty. When we heard that she had been arrested, we were just like... That's awesome. When Tyson was rescued in December of 2015, he was in such bad shape and his body temperature so low, veterinarians and rescuers were not sure he'd survive. The woman who has been charged reportedly told police that she only had the dog for a few months after she found him wandering and took him in. But River Rouge police say even if that's true, she had a duty to get him some kind of help before it came to this. Thankfully, Tyson is now in a place where he's getting so much more than food. He's getting love. We think he's like nine or ten years old already, and the life that he's had up until this last year was was has been sad. I think they are starting to send the message that this is important. This this tells of our our culture and who we are as a people that. You can't do this to, to people and you can't do this to animals. Washington's pretrial hearing is set for Tuesday morning and many people advocating for Tyson are expected to be here. In Lincoln Park, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.